model training fails all the time. Like the loss will just blow up and that, that's pretty bad. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. I'm Sakin Narayan. Currently, I'm on the Lama pre-training team. Before that, I was on uh, Databricks Mosaic AI Research. OK, I'd love to hear a few words about your research as well. This work was mainly focused on low precision, large scale LM training. So specifically analyze the fundamental aspects of the transformer so that we're able to train the transformer in uh, FP8, as well as achieve uh, hyperparameter transfer uh, over both learning rate and weight decay. I'd like you to recall a scenario where your model training failed. And then for that specifically, what model were you training and for what task? Model training fails all the time, uh, I guess, especially with FP8. You know, using a number format that only has 256 rep different representable values is um, quite scary. But we've seen loss spikes, we've seen, uh, you know, genome spikes like FP8 underflow, uh, which is basically a measure of how well your tensors are being represented. Like, that'll go crazy sometimes. So um, sometimes your model will diverge catastrophically. Sometimes it'll just maybe be a little bit different than BF16. What was the very first anomaly that told you something was off? Many times, like, the loss will just blow up, and that, that's pretty bad. Uh, but sometimes you look at a model and it's, it's more subtle. Uh, you maybe have to run like a higher precision and say, okay, what is the maybe difference between these two models? Um, is using a low precision causing uh, maybe a difference in, in metrics or the loss curves themselves? And what helped you surface the bug? More visibility into metrics, um, looking more closely at loss curves. I think that's always useful. And how much compute or wall clock time did the failure burn before you caught it? Yeah, some of these only show up at larger scales, so maybe like 512 GPU days, maybe? 256 GPU days. And what ended up being the key fix for you? Changing different aspects of the transformer so that we're able to represent tensors better in low precisions and not have to basically reduce the gap between BF16 and FP8 training. Yeah. And is there a specific metric that you especially keep an eye on now? Vowel loss. 